third year in a row, Nissan is celebrating its history at Bathurst with the 1991 R32 Nissan GDR. The winner of the 1991 Bathurst, Mark Scaife, welcome. It's great to have the tribute livery, isn't it? 25 years on from our first win and uh, looks fantastic. I like, the, uh, I like the retro look. What a special car it was. It was the most dominant car in touring car land for such a long period of time. It uh, obviously had the race record at Bathurst 1000. Tell us a little bit about this special car. You know, to break the, the record with Jimmy and for me to have my first win, you know, the first GDR win at the same time in 1991, uh, very special memories. Uh, extraordinary day for Nissan Motor Company, but for Rich and I. Tell us a little bit about what it was like to, you know, obviously get a hold of this car and, uh, and put it on the line. Well, it was homologated at 1,350 kilos and ended up being handicapped because of its performance to 1,500 kilos. So by the time you had full boost, by the time you had the tyre grip was smaller than your car, it's an inch smaller in terms of tyre size, it's got hardly any aero and, uh, and pretty heavy, they were hard cars to drive. At the top of the hill, I'll always remember like Reed Park and McPhillamy Park, they were wild. To get through the chase, flat, was whew, hold your breath oh, stuff, that. exactly, yeah, it was great. <laughs> what an outstanding debut so far for the new Nissan GTR model. So you debuted the car in 1990 at Malala, and it obviously uh, you know, had something special about it. Well, 1990 at Malala was a bit of a weird one because we had a problem in qualifying. I ended up qualifying third on the last lap of qualifying, and I parked in between two Sierras. I ended up getting by, I think it was Longhurst or Bowie and, and Brock. And um, by the time I got to the lead, we were leading by miles, like 10 or 15 seconds in the lead but it broke a front hub just past the old pit area and speared me straight off with basically brake pedal on the floor. So from that time on, we knew that it had potential, but the potential needed to be effectively engineered into a durable car that would make a thousand Ks. And um, huge amount of work. I mean, not a thing on the car was the same one year on to make it reliable and fast. So in 1991 in the championship, obviously the car was very, very dominant with both yourself and Jim, but had it not been for the, the rules at the time, which was drop your worst round, you would have won the championship. Yeah, don't raise that with Richo. That was, <laughs> Jimmy, uh, we had a great season and it was, it was of the day really competitive between the two of us. You know, we were each weekend trying to beat each other and there was a fair bit of tension because there were lots of weekends when, you know, we're at the front of the field and trying to to win for the team, but obviously individually. And um, yeah, as you said, drop the worst round was the part of the regulation. Um, and I think the thing that was really the most powerful thing for both of us was that I got my first win that year at uh, Barber Gallo Raceway in Perth. And then to go on together and join up. So, you know, you, you had the Touring Car Championship and then Bathurst and to join up together with Richard and win uh, in 1991 was, was unbelievable. Victory didn't end at Bathurst that year. You, the team actually took the car over to New Zealand where uh, it had success again. Yeah, it was the Nissan Mobile 500. So there was two races. There was Wellington Street Race and then Pukakaui, which we go to now. But um, it was an interesting race because I had a real battle with the BMWs for, for pole. It was one of the best battles. It was uh, Piro and Rivalia as the factory BMW guys and um, we had full boost, over 700 horsepower around the streets there. It was just out of control. It was, it was just, it was really good. I think we ran third that day, but Pukakaui, the following weekend, uh, we won in Auckland, and uh, that was great. You know, great for Nissan New Zealand, and great for everyone to get behind that. And they take the jacket flag. Mark Scaife, Jim Richards, and the Nissan GTR Supercar have won. The GTR was so dominant that it's, 25 years on and it's still a talking point, so much so that Nissan Germany have actually come up with this ad that I need to show you. What did you just say? <laughs> it's in German so I'm only going off the pictures. This is you apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I've had some wild reactions, but I don't remember chucking the press conference table over, but anyway. <laughs> That's very cool. That is great, isn't it? <laughs> well, it was. I mean, the reaction was extraordinary, Mike. It wasn't just about, you know, what we thought and what we'd done with the car, because, you know, we'd put 
huge amounts of time and effort and money into making that car competitive and reliable and the whole thing. And then for it to be banned was just extraordinary. I mean, it was changing the rules of the sport. Well, Mark, thank you so much for coming in and sharing a bit of what this car has and yourself, the history of it. It's, uh, it's something quite special. Seems a bit unusual you in, in interviewing me these days. It's a bit strange, isn't it? <laughs> but uh, good luck with the program, mate. That's great that, uh, that Nissan have done this. I think it's a, you know, it's a, a worthy tribute of 25 years on. Thanks. Thank you.